Hey, this is Noltzer, and this is the Tier 8 German Destroyer, Von Drei und Zwanzig, or Z-23 as it's going to be known by me, and Z-23 by everyone else. She has 22,700 health, a top speed of 38.9 knots, 4 128mm guns, 8 torpedoes, a surface detect of 6.2 kilometers, and 25 AA defense rating. For my modules, reduced crit chance on main armament, improved aiming accuracy, reduced the chance of flood and fire, improved acceleration, concealment. For my commander, basic firing training, faster torpedo rearm, last stand, superintendent, survivability expert, and concealment again. We are on the map, two brothers, and oh yes, get ready. This week is going to be just full of carry games in German Destroyers. I am so excited to share them. I've had them for weeks. Ugh. Now, the Tier 10 probably is not going to be shared because it's still being changed, but I will cover everything else. Now, maybe I should address why I believe it's so, not easy to carry, but it's so prevalent in these ships. Well, people don't know that you have hydroacoustic until very recently. And if you notice, it sort of looks like they just added hydroacoustic on. That's because that's exactly what they did. For whatever reason, the Germans just have this special bond with hydroacoustic that it doesn't require you decide between speed boost and hydroacoustic. I would obviously choose hydroacoustic over speed boost. Smoke over hydroacoustic. No, no, no. Just give them all of the things. Yeah. That's pretty much what has happened. The torpedo range. The gun range is... Uh, it's probably pretty crappy. It, it is pretty crappy. You could decide to increase that. I have chosen to increase my survivability. I've also decided to do my torpedo rearm. And no, I'm not locking down on these builds. They'll probably change. I just want to check them out. Especially, and if you don't understand how these ships are given out, they're basically premiums until the full line is in existence. The game doesn't really recognize that you've played these ships even if I played it on my account, it's just a completely different ship until the line is added. So it's irrelevant for stats, and some people will appreciate that because they can do screwy things. And I just wanted to see how the torpedo rearm worked. I will say, and this is one of the two ships that you can decide between 128 millimeters and 150 millimeters. I have tried 150 millimeters. I will try 150 millimeters for you to see but I just don't like it. It's too big. The turrets, they traverse too slow. You can see how slow they're traversing. I would probably lean towards picking up expert marksmen when not using a 150 millimeter gun. Expert marksman is basically irrelevant for the 150 millimeter gun. It's just so insignificant. The lower one, the 128, Definitely use it. So we engaged in New Mexico. We got some torpedo hits. The 9.4 kilometer range is nice. The upgrade path for most of the German destroyers is pretty reasonable. And maybe this is why it feels so overpowered. It is not inconvenient to upgrade the torpedoes. In fact, you want to. It adds range and I believe speed or damage. You don't really sacrifice a lot for the extra range. The gun systems are not really upgrades to each other. You would use 150 millimeters to Citadel cruisers more often, but the damage output is not that high, in my opinion. I prefer the higher rate of fire, small caliber, as a destroyer. And the AP is working just great. And oh, an ambush! How dare you send your torpedoes at me? We just barely avoided those torpedoes. And Hatsaharu, you must suffer for these. I sent my set towards the enemy battleship, hoping to hit him again. Maybe we can flood him, maybe it'll stick. I decide, oh wow, there are two of them. I drop my smoke to try and hide myself, and then I'm gonna fire outside of the smoke. I can see both of you guys plain as day, and you can't do anything. This is exactly what I'm talking about. My torpedoes hit the battleship while all this is going on. You And we take out the battleship, he floods out. You might recognize that the HE is doing low damage, lower than average damage compared to other destroyers. That is the weak point 
of the Germans, on average, they just don't have the output with HE. It doesn't really matter when the enemy can't engage you and he's trying so hard to cover that ground, but I'm backing up and denying that while using Hydroacoustic. But look how long it's taking us to just take out one destroyer. My torpedoes are back up, and I'm going to send against this enemy, Fubuki. We have three destroyers, not one, but three destroyers in the area. And is he going to run into my destroyers? I think he's going to run into them. Oh yeah, he is so dead. So very dead. Yep, enemy Fubuki taken out. I run back into the smoke. And I still have Hydroacoustic to tell me all the torpedoes and still protect me from the destroyers while detecting them. It's really, really strong. I mean really strong against my opposition. You take out those destroyers, the enemy team can't do anything. And we've already done 74,000 points of damage. The game is almost over. So I sort of bail out. I was a little cautious. Maybe I could have kept up the tempo and killed another one. But this is honestly like my second game in it. Maybe my first. And yeah, you're probably like, oh god. But let me explain. They play a lot like American destroyers. They have that sort of gun arc. It's not as good as the Soviets. It's not as good as the Japanese. But it's good enough to be effective. You give enough lead, you take advantage of your strengths, you can easily pick this up and be successful. It's basically Americans with hydroacoustic. That's how it plays out. HE's weaker, AP stronger. But you still seek to try and use your torpedoes against the opposition in the right moments. If there's a destroyer too close, hell yeah, use your torpedoes. You're not going to kill them that quickly. My hydroacoustic is still on cooldown. This is dangerous, but we have this flank. I'm going to push in anyway. When in doubt, play it like an American. Just brute force yourself into the smoke. We see one enemy Hatsaharu, and we also see that the smoke is dispersing. So that must mean that it's going to be gone in a little bit. Now, you might have noticed that there is smoke over right in front of my ship by that island. That is where the other destroyer has gone. So I'm just going to engage at range against the enemy. The enemy York is also in the area, but he's angling away. The torpedo systems are not going to be as effective as I would like. I did switch to AP, expecting the broadside. And he did not give me the broadside. So instead, I should really switch to HE. Instead, I'm going to pop my smoke and try and hide. Yeah, you can just see. It doesn't matter, not sir. You're never going to pin a cruiser with 128 millimeters and an angle like that. It's just not going to happen. Now, maybe it could with 150 millimeters. We will definitely explore that. Don't don't worry. I just I just didn't see a good game in the 150 millimeters. I try and share you a game where it's basically a blueprint to success with the ship. I show you what I think it's good at and how I would make use of it. And then you can hopefully go out and recreate it or add your own flair to it. If that's the type of person you are, there's nothing wrong with that. I use hydroacoustic. This is one thing that won't be there. This extreme range, the Germans will be dropping that. This is, this, it's not going to have this kind of range. This, this kind of range is ridiculous. This is the German hydroacoustic and outside of the tier 10, they're not going to have the German hydroacoustic. This is more reasonable. 4.5 kilometers is about where you should expect it. Not the 5.5 that I was detecting that other destroyer at. The enemy York is trying to fire on us, and he actually did succeed in firing on us and did pretty good damage. He also knocked out one of my torpedo tubes, so I can't use that. There is an enemy Benson engaging the friendly destroyer right in front of me. I want to take the York out of the action. I'm trying to get in range to fire on him. Maybe that's the wrong choice. I also have AP because he is broadside. Yes, AP broadside. It does make sense. I know it's far away. If he changes his angle, then we need to change the HE and do less damage. It's just one of the things that you have to deal with. I mean, it really is. It It is a big deal. Don't get me wrong. It's a big deal, but I think it's a bigger deal that you have hydroacoustic. Not a lot of people can deal with hydroacoustic, especially 6.2 kilometers away. I have to cover 1 to 2 kilometers on average 
to get within hydroacoustics effective range and it will tell me where torpedoes are located it's extremely effective for destroyer class and i'm detected so that means he's probably coming around the island yes there he is aggressive so i'm going to send my torpedo the one torpedo i have available and i'm going to try and kill him before he kills me i don't have smoke he can see me plain as day it's just kill or be killed i have he loaded although it's going to take a while. I need assistance from friendlies, and I think I got an assistance in the shot there. Oh yeah, I got an assistance there. Now it's well within range that I could effectively kill him before he kills me, and I think we've done it. Yes, we have. The enemy team only has 38 points left. The next kill will win it for us. I, however, do not think I will be in range for the next kill. Just trying to avoid not running into the island, of course. So... Is it as impressive as you envisioned with Hydroacoustic? Now, we've had Loa Young in the game for a while. And you pretty much take the playstyle of the Loa Young and apply it to the Germans with slight alterations. Your torpedoes are better. Your gun systems are weaker in most scenarios other than the perfect broadside. The turrets, they traverse just slightly slower. I think the Loa Yang is like 12 or 15 seconds. This is 22 seconds. 180. Honestly, I'm considering picking up Expert Marksman over Torpedo Rearm. But again, this was just one of my early games where I was playing it out. I found it very interesting and very entertaining to be in close proximity of my opponent. It shows exactly why the German Destroyer Line is going to be effective. We pretty much single-handedly revealed and countered every single destroyer in the game except for one and that's a huge deal when one person can counter three obviously i'm very comfortable playing destroyers and the u.s destroyer like velocity torpedo systems that's the whole package with hydroacoustic we did 90,000 puts of damage five torpedoes on target four kills 1,954 base XP, absolutely stomped all over the enemy, very balanced, 34,000 points of damage in HE, which is higher than I had expected, 11,000 in AP, 38,000 in torpedoes. You should expect to see a lot of German Destroyer games this week, and a lot of games just like this in different tiers. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.